Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you're in need of a website, domain, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Hello, uh, today I'm in New York City. I just finished a nice road trip, which hopefully you should be seeing soon. But today I'm with this guy. Hello. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> oh. Yes, of course. My name is Joe, but my close friends call me IOE. You can call me whatever you want, but George is in my city. So we're gonna shoot, we're gonna film, it's gonna be great. All right. <laughs> So today, we're actually going to be switching cameras with each other. So Joe's going to be using a Leica M6, I think he's got a 40mm and some Portra in it. And I'm going to be using, some assistance please, uh, a Leica M10. Shock horror, digital camera. Haven't actually shot digital in about two to three years. Wow. I'm quite interested to see how this goes down. I'm also using a 28mm lens, which is something that I thought that I wanted, but I guess we'll see by the end of this whether or not it's too wide. So I think to me one of the best things about shooting in New York is that all these huge buildings have such big windows and it creates some really amazing reflected light so you get really cool pools and patches of strange light that you don't normally see everywhere so hopefully I'm going to try and utilize some of that today come to Chinatown because it's very colourful and busy, visually cool place to be. I'm currently taking some photos of people entering the supermarket because these like drapey plastic gun things are producing a really nice kind of bounce light off each other and also it kind of looks like these people are like being given birth through these weird plastic guns and some people just like barge through so aggressively. I think that'll be a really good photo but it's just about waiting for the right person to stomp their right out. Alright George, how do you feel about the 28mm? Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty wide, I think. <laughs> It's uh, a lot more than I was expecting. Um, there's a lot of photos where, or occurrences where I thought I was gonna get a really good photo, but I was way too far away. And then I guess the way that I was envisioning it didn't exist when I got closer. I haven't been enjoying it for like the wider shots, but to counteract this, I've been really getting in people's faces. <laughs> I feel like the only way to don the 28 on street is just to like be completely up in someone's grill. And uh, that's what I'm going to try and do, snipe them from point blank. So we've uh, done some street photography now, and I think we've kind of got the most of that. And uh, we're now going to mix it up and take some portraits. Um, yeah. Cool. So that's it. I'm not sure shooting with a digital camera is something that I'm looking to do again, but I did take a few interesting points away from the experience. One of the things was that it was really cool to be able to have the immediacy of the images. So when you're shooting street photography, it's really good to be able to use zone focusing, which is when you just set the distance on your lens before you take the photo, and then you just kind of snap away without having to worry about focusing. And having the immediacy of being able to check the photo on the back of the screen does really help you with knowing and learning how far things are away, being able to check if it was in focus or not. That was pretty great. However, spending too much time looking at the screen definitely takes you away from the kind of environment and may lead to you actually missing some shots. It was also pretty cool to be able to just breeze through as many photos as you want without having to worry about shooting too much film and spending all your money 
However, this positive definitely becomes a down point when you come to editing, and I had 300 photos that I had to sift through, where most of them were garbage, and that was definitely not fun and something that I hope I don't have to do any time in the near future. I also did find that the images straight out of the camera were very plain, and they required quite a lot of work to try and get them to look a bit more interesting. And all of this is just time that I guess you get used to it after a while, but having not used the digital camera in so long, it just was a bit of a pain. As far as like the general just experience using this particular camera, it was great. It's amazingly designed. It's a complete joy that you don't have to look through a screen or a kind of dark tunnel of a DSLR. You have this lovely rangefinder patch and it's so familiar from shooting other rangefinders just is extraordinarily expensive. Probably on the top of my list of if I had to buy a digital camera, it'd be pretty great. However, it's not gonna happen. It costs way too much money. Also, as far as the lens went, 28mm, definitely too wide. Before we filmed the video, I was thinking actually about buying a 28mm because I wanted something that looked vastly different to the other work that I make with this extra kind of wide look. However, I found a lot of the photos I wanted to compose kind of just didn't exist because of how wide it was. Getting close kind of just changes the complete scene, and I guess I'm just used to seeing things in a kind of 35 or 50, and yeah, I'm, maybe I'd get used to it, but I'm not willing to spend any money on getting used to it. So hopefully you're interested in the next few videos to come which we filmed in America, which follows the journey of a road trip down to the American South, which is pretty awesome. We visited the Kodak headquarters and got a tour, met up with some cool guys on the way, and just had a general good time exploring kind of Americana. And on that note, I'd like to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video. If you're looking to buy a domain, build a website, or a blog, definitely give Squarespace a go. It's a really easy platform to work with, and the results are really professional. And you can get 10% off if you use the code negative feedback. So why not give it a go? So that's pretty much it. See you soon when hopefully I've managed to edit all this footage from the trip. Goodbye.